And just going to look at uh, a specific type of question here where we want to find in a binomial expansion what would be the biggest coefficient or the biggest term in a binomial. Now, when we talk about the greatest coefficient, we're not worried about plus or minus. It's the magnitude we're, we're interested in here. And it's just a simple idea. If uh, we just compare coefficients. And if term k plus 1 is bigger than term k, then term k plus 1 must be the biggest. Simple idea. If this is bigger than this, that's the biggest. So we can create an inequality to solve the problem. So I've got the expansion 2 plus 3x to the power of 20. So my general term, 20ck, the 3x b to the power of k, so the 2 to the power of 20 minus k. But I want to compare that with the term before it. So term k would be 20ck minus 1, 3x to the power of k minus 1, 2 to the power of 21 minus k. And I want to solve this inequality, because I know if term k plus 1 is greater than term k, term k plus 1 is the biggest. So there's my inequality to solve. Now, it looks daunting, but actually it's, it's quite simple, because I just do it by division and say, well, when is it greater than 1? Now, 20ck, I'm going to have to knock that all into factorials to work this one out. So, 20ck, 20 factorial over k factorial, 20 minus k factorial. And then 20ck minus 1, but invert, because it's on the bottom of the fraction. 20 factorial, k minus 1 factorial, 21 minus k factorial. Now, for the fractions, k. Now, I don't know what k is at this stage, but I do know that k has to be bigger than k minus 1. So, therefore, when I look at the 3s, they must cancel to leave 3 on top. And with the 2s, again, I don't know what k is, but I do know 21 minus k has got to be bigger than 20 minus k. So they'll cancel and leave 2 on the bottom. And then I can do a similar thing with the factorials. Now, obviously, the 20 factorial cancels, uh, but the k factorial would have to be bigger than the k minus 1 factorial. And if I was to roll out the k factorial, remember, that would go k times k minus 1 factorial. So the k minus 1 factorials will cancel to leave k on the bottom. And I can do a similar thing with the 20 minus k factorial and the 21 minus k factorial. 21 minus k has got to be the bigger one. They will cancel to leave 21 minus k on the top. And we've got a very simple inequality to solve. And we eventually, there we go, I get k is less than, well, I throw equal to in there as well, uh, just in case. But uh, 63 on 5. Now, k's got to be an integer. So in this case, it can't equal 63 on 5. Had it turned out to be an integer, then OK, it could equal that number. And you'll probably find there'd be two consecutive terms with the same coefficient in that situation. Uh, so 63 divided by 5 is, well, the first integer smaller than that is 12. So now we can work it out. But remember, it was term k plus 1 that was the biggest. So 20c, 12, 2 to the power of 8, 3 to the power of 12. That would be the biggest coefficient. Now, what's the difference when they find a term? Well, we substitute a value in for x, basically, or the pronumerals. Other than that, it's identical. So my general term, instead of putting x there, or 3x, I've put 3 times a half, because x is a half. But other than that, it's an identical question. So same idea. Oh, and as I mentioned before, we ignore the negative because we're only concerned about the magnitude of the coefficient. So 15ck minus 1, 4 to the k minus 1, and 16 minus k would be termed k. Inequality, so same as before. We'll do a division. So I get 15 factorial on k factorial, 15 minus k factorial, Etc. 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 That looks confusing. That fraction is it four on three on two, or is it four on three on two, or does it actually matter anyway? So in our case, it's actually the four on the three on two, which tidies up to be eight on three. Eight on three. There we go. And the sixteen minus k factor cancels with the fifteen minus k, and we get sixteen minus k on top, and um, and k stays on the bottom. And in this case, we get k uh, 128 on 11. Again, not a whole number. 11 would be the first integer smaller than 128 on 11. So term 12 would be the greatest term.
So 15C11. Um, I'm not going to leave that one like that because 2 to the power of 4 and 4 to the power of 11 can be tidied up. Because 2, of course, is... Oh, sorry, 4, of course, is 2 squared. So that's 2 to the power of 22. Divided by 2 to the power of 4, we get 2 to the power of 18. That's a bit neater.